In this problem, it says we have a heat engine that operates with a 150 degrees Celsius heat source and a 20 degrees Celsius heat sink. And what we want to do is find the maximum possible thermal efficiency. So really what we have here, so we have our um, heat source and heat sink. So this is T high, T low. We have our heat engine. We're going to get some network out and our heat transfer. So this is Q high <clears throat> and Q low. So this is just a diagram showing what's going on, but really to solve this problem, we don't actually need this diagram because this is, so this says that it wants us to find the maximum possible thermal efficiency. So really the maximum possible thermal efficiency is the Carnot cycle efficiency. So this is going to be the so this is really what this is telling you is to find the Carnot efficiency of this heat engine. So the maximum possible means the Carnot cycle efficiency. So to do that, we just need to know what the what the what the heat source is, what the temperature of the heat source is, and what the temperature of the heat sink is, which we know both of those. So then we can just write our equation. So the thermal efficiency, and I'm going to specify that, I'm just going to put the reversible here to specify that this is for the Carnot cycle. And because remember, we can only use this form of the equation if we have a reversible cycle. So this is 1 minus T low over T high. And so then this is going to be equal to 1 minus, and then our temperatures are given in Celsius, but we need them in Kelvin. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 273 to both of them when I put them in the equation. So T low is 20. So I have 20 plus 273. And then this is divided by 20 plus 150. So that gives us our temperature in Kelvin. And if I do this, that works out to 0 0.307, which is approximately 31%. So that means that for these two temperatures, for 150 degrees Celsius heat source and a 20 degrees Celsius heat sink, the maximum possible efficiency that we can have is approximately 31 percent. 